Scheumann kyphosis. What are kyphosis and lordosis? Normal spine, when observed from the side, is not straight. It has two inward neck and the low back, and two outward curves, upper back and sacral spine. The inward curve is called lordosis and the outward kyphosis. It is usually accepted that normal values of these natural physiological curves are 20 to 40 degrees upper limit, 45 degrees for the upper back kyphosis and 40 to 60 degrees for the lower back lordosis. When the curve exceeds these values, we are talking about hyperkyphosis and hyperlordosis. What is Scheumann's kyphosis? A special type of hyperkyphosis in which the thoracic spine becomes very rigid due to the vertebral bodies becoming wedged is called Scheumann's disease or Scheumann's kyphosis. It was first described by Holger Werfel Scheumann, a Danish surgeon, in 1920, where the name is coming from. Sorensen later further developed the diagnosis based on the presence of more than three vertebrae that are wedged by more than five degrees. And there is no evidence of congenital, infectious, or traumatic disorder of the spine. Prevalence of Scheuermann's kyphosis. It is believed that the prevalence in the general population ranges from 4% to 10%, with approximately even numbers between females and males. Similar to idiopathic scoliosis, the cause is not known. Most common complaint is feeling of stiffness or rigidity and back pain that may be present in the mid-back, low back or neck. Screening for Scheumann's kyphosis. Scheumann's kyphosis presents usually around puberty and is frequently attributed to poor posture, which leads to numerous late diagnoses. This type of round back is very different from a typical bad posture because it presents with a peak in the flexed spine and does not follow a smooth harmonic line. People with Scheumann's kyphosis also have various degrees of hyperlordosis in the neck and the low back areas. Typically, these curves are flexible and correctable. Scheumann's kyphosis and the Schrott treatment. Scheumann's kyphosis can be treated using the Schrott method, braces, or, in most severe cases, can be treated surgically. The Schrott method can improve flexibility, pain, posture, aesthetic appearance, and curve magnitude. Check the effect of combined two-year treatment with kyphosis brace and daily Schrott exercises.